Yo, what's up, TGM Unbox? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we will be unboxing this Amazon Basics paper shredder. I'm very excited to try this out. We're gonna try cutting up some cardboard, some paper, and some other random things that I can find uh, to test this out. I actually saw a lot of people on Amazon use this to like cut up cardboard boxes into small little segments instead of having a big box in your garbage. Hopefully that works well. I've read some things and I've watched some things, so fingers crossed, but let's start opening this up and actually take a look at it. I believe I purchased the 12, uh, 12 paper cutter, like it's, it's able to cut up to 12 sheets of paper at a time. I will have a link for this down below to uh, Amazon Basics, where I picked this up. And yes, I spent my own money on it. <laughs> the box also isn't like the biggest, surprisingly. I thought it would have been a little bit bigger. So this is like the main part that cuts everything and it's, it's actually pretty heavy. Like, I think that's where a lot of the weight was because this this is just super light. And this is a dual cut paper shredder, so it doesn't just create lines with it. It segments the parts of the paper, so it, it won't just be a single strip. It'll be multiple different cuts and multiple different uh, pieces of paper. So it's a little bit better if you're trying to hide personal information. Um, this will definitely help take care of that. Or if you're just trying to cut up paper or cardboard, it'll make it compact a little bit better and a little bit easier. So I don't even know if, where the instructions are. I guess they're probably just in that sheet. Uh, I'm gonna put this down. Okay, so uh, let's head over and try plugging this in and we can actually start cutting up some stuff. All right, so I just plugged it in. There's now a green light. So yeah, it does have like an automatic start and stop, so that's pretty helpful so you don't have to worry about it possibly like damaging itself or damaging, you know, anything else you have. So I'm gonna cut up some cardboard and we're gonna try, uh, try feeding it in here. This is the box that the shredder came with. It's actually pretty thick. I think it's double wall corrugated. So that's gonna be a little bit uh, of a challenge for this to cut through. I'm just gonna feed it. Oh wow. <laughs> it's, it's literally just taking that. Wow, that, that was surprising. This is gonna be great for like cutting up any excess cardboard I have um, because whenever I get packages, I tend to get a lot, but wow, that was, uh, that was really fast. It just went through that like butter. Uh, we'll cut a couple more sections and uh, try it out. Okay, I, think, I feel like it struggles a little bit on the edges. I mean, it sounds like it's going through perfectly, but I think like the middle area, and that's where it recommends your cards, I feel like it's probably a little bit stronger right up here. But this is my first like shredder that I've ever purchased, so it's kind of a weird purchase. Um, but I think this is gonna be great for just getting rid of some of my old cardboard that I have around the house and also some old paper stuff. And after this, it's easy to compost it, recycle it. I might actually use it for packaging material. When I'm shipping things out for like eBay, Etsy, or my other websites, um, I could just like fill it in. It's kind of cool. Let me know what you guys think down below. And if you plan to purchase this, comment that down below um, and let me know how it turns out. There are different sizes. Um, I think it goes down to like eight sheets and then six sheets. And it's cheaper the less paper you're able to shred, but I really don't think anything under 12 would be able to cut up cardboard just because cardboard is a little bit of a thicker material and it has a couple different layers, but yeah, let's uh, let's cut some more things. It's kind of fun All right, here's another section and I guess the one thing that it said on the instructions and they kept saying was about overheating So if you run this for too long It can overheat and they recommend letting it sit for about 30 minutes if it gets a little bit too hot So I'd recommend only using it for about five to like eight minutes and then stopping and then letting it cool for a while And then come back to it. So here's a little bit of a bigger sheet that we're gonna try cutting Wow, it's so cool how fast that it can take care of that. And just to like, for example, we basically are almost done with this box. We just have this section, the next section, and then the bottom, and then we're basically done, which is kind of crazy that it went from such a big box that I would have had to cut up into sections and flatten down and throw in the garbage to now just a bunch of little pellets. Actually, let's pop this open and take a look at what they look like. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the power because I do not want my fingers to get crunched. Also, one thing that you have to consider is you do have to like oil the blades every once in a while. Um, I might just put oil on some of the cardboard while I'm running it through and that way it'll touch all the blades, but oh my gosh. This is like perfect shipping material. This is like crinkle paper. Um, it is a little bit heavier, so that might charge a little bit more for shipping, but if you're doing like a flat rate or some sort of priority thing, you know, it's, it'll uh, be perfect. Wow, that's that's insane. And this is way easier to compact and throw away or if I just put some some kerosene or something and gasoline and just burn it, you know. 
Or if you want to be more uh, environmentally friendly, you can always just put this in a compost pile and earthworms and other things will be able to take care of this, which uh, I might end up doing during the summer. But yeah, this is really cool. Let's do a couple more sections and uh, I guess that'll be it for the video. All right, so what was once a large cardboard box is now a couple pieces of paper shred. So uh, let me pop this open with how that just shred everything up. So that's it for the video. Let me know what you think. If you plan to use this for anything else other than cutting up paper and cardboard, let me know down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace. Wow.